I'm Anthony, this is D News, and guys, it has been a huge week for NASA and just for space geekery in general. First up, Curiosity, you know, the first mobile laboratory able to take a selfie suitable for your Facebook feed. Well, on Monday, NASA announced that Curiosity found carbon in a Martian soil sample. This is big because carbon is the building block of organic compounds that create life. And it doesn't mean anything definite about the past existence of life on Mars, but it's a good sign, sort of. See, there's a chance that the carbon actually comes from Curiosity itself, like a little bit of something stuck to it or came along for the ride from Earth. So we're supposed to stay calm, but it's pretty awesome that we keep finding these little bits of possibility up there. Which is why I'm also excited that NASA announced that Voyager 1 is going to be the first man-made spacecraft to leave the solar system. Voyager's been cruising through space, sending back photos and data since 1977. And its original purpose was to explore Jupiter and Saturn and send that stuff back until 1980. But then it just kept going. And now it's at the edge of the heliosphere, which is the bubble of solar wind and magnetism created by the sun that keeps all the particles and charges that govern things here inside the solar system and all the cosmic rays and other unknown forces from the rest of the universe out. Now, we don't know what's gonna happen when it crosses through, or even when it'll happen. It could be a couple years. But as of right now, Voyager is still transmitting data flawlessly, and it should have enough power to keep doing that until 2020, which means we're not just gonna see one of our creations leave the solar system in our lifetime, we're also going to get back information about what it's like out there. And even once it's done transmitting, Voyager's still on a mission. It's carrying a golden record inside of it with images, sound, music, and languages from Earth. Carl Sagan was the man behind the record and he wanted to let other intelligent life know who we are, where we are, and what we're about. And Stephen Hawking and Star Trek the motion picture were both against it. Either way, it'll probably be 40,000 years until Voyager gets anywhere near a part of the universe that can support intelligent life. So two things here. Number one, I love that a 35-year-old tank full of vinyl like Voyager is able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with our newest and best stuff like Curiosity. And number two, I feel like one of these things could genuinely find proof of other life in the universe. So what do you think is more likely? That the carbon curiosity found is the building block of Martian life? Or that Voyager is going to sail right into an advanced alien race? Let me know down below and hey, welcome to D News by the way. This is our new channel. We're gonna have three stories for you every day from me, Lacey Green, and Trace Dominguez. We wanna know what you'd like to see or answer any questions you have, so subscribe, follow us on Twitter, let us know how we're doing, and we'll be back later today.